Well, a single mom and her young children have had their Orange Park home flooded four times over the last couple of months after it's rained hard. And she says the property owners have not done much at all to help. On your sides, Haley Harrison spoke to the renter, who now says she is worried about that very dangerous black mold. It's been about a year since Yvonne Gray moved here with her three children at the edge at Lakeside Apartments. She said she's had problems with water leaks since day one, just like this one. Since March, she says it's gotten worse, and now she's just counting down the days until her lease is up. This was what her living room looked like when Yvonne Gray woke up on Sunday morning. I mean, even today, this morning, there's still standing water in my closet from three days ago. Gray was first told a pipe had busted in the foundation. This is what the property manager told me when I went in and talked to him. He said the foundation to my building is washing away. And the Gray family is not the only ones dealing with standing water. She says she knows of at least one other neighbor who has had his unit flooded twice. Well, I come home and my house is flooded. What do you know? Water everywhere. Gray has brought her concerns to the edge at Lakeside Apartments property manager and even its corporate office multiple times since March, but says she's felt ignored and still has a lot of questions. But what about our stuff? You know, what What are they going to do for us that have had these problems? And I've heard nothing. Gray says all of the furniture in her living room has been destroyed. But what Gray really wants to know is if the leaks and flooding have made the townhome dangerous for her family. I do want to have a black mold test done too in there. Um, because if so, that's not, it's definitely not safe for us to be living there anyway. First Coast News called the Edge at Lakeside Apartments office at 1030, again around 1, and for a third time at 330 to speak with the property manager, but he hasn't returned our call. In Orange Park, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.